Hey guys, what's up? If you're new around here, my name is Hannah Martin and today we're going to be doing a Christmassy video. So I've wanted to do this one for a while but I just haven't had time to film it and I know I'm a bit late because probably most of you, if you're more organised than me, have already done your Christmas shopping. I, I haven't even started yet, which is a slight concern, but I usually do it like the day before Christmas Eve most of the time because, yeah, don't ask me why, I just... I, I think I work on a good level of stress. So today I thought I would just do some cool gift ideas. So the other day I was thinking, hmm, I'm a dancer, what would I like for Christmas? And then I thought, what would the general demographic of dancers love for Christmas? And then I thought, why don't I just do a video to help you guys out, to help me out, and then we all know what to buy each other for Christmas, and then everything's a lot easier, right? So these are just gift ideas that, you know, as dancers, a majority of people would love to receive. I know I would love to receive any of these items. You know, I put all this stuff up thinking it looked really cute, but now I'm looking at it on the camera, it just looks a bit crazy. It's a Christmas video, I'm gonna wear a Christmas jumper, Christmas scrunchie, but uh, in hindsight I think I went slightly OTT. I have 20 or so different ideas that you could buy dancers for Christmas, so let's just get straight onto it. So gift number one, I'm gonna start with some really boring but very practical gift ideas because I think you can get a lot of rubbish and no one will use it or you can get like things that people actually use and it'll actually be helpful. So let's start off with those. Foam roller, always good. We always need, as dancers, we always need to roll out after training sessions. And if your friend doesn't already have one, they should. They're not that expensive either. And you can get it in funky colors too, so. I wouldn't recommend necessarily getting the one with spikes on it because I mean, let's just say your friend might not be your friend anymore after that. And this is a spiky one, but I would get like the smooth one. I prefer the smooth one. But I don't know, some people might like the spiky one, but anyway. Buy it at your own risk. Following on from that, this. Now, I cannot say how helpful this has been because obviously foam roll is a bit bigger, so it's harder to carry that around. But this is perfect. Roll out on this all the time. You can roll your feet out, your glutes, your back, your hamstrings, your calves. This exercise ball has literally been a lifesaver. Definitely one to put on the Christmas list and I think you can buy either of these on Amazon, eBay, anything like that. So really easy, quick, cheap Christmas ideas. I think this was like five pounds or something. Keeping on with the practical theme, a thumb band. So my friend actually bought this thumb band for me for a secret Santa that I received the other week. So thanks Freddie. Wouldn't really think of a dancer who wouldn't need one of these. A bit boring, a bit practical, but something that they would definitely use. Another practical Christmas gift idea, hair nets and pins, because both these things dancers use on a regular basis. I don't know about you, but my bun nets break so quickly. If someone bought me 20 sets of bun nets, that might possibly be my favorite and most practical Christmas gift I will ever receive, a dance essential. So bun nets and bun pins, a big thumbs up from a dancer's perspective. I don't even know what, how many have we done? One, two, three, four. Okay, we're on to number five. Oh. Now this one, again, is depends on the person, but I personally really like to take notes on my classes. Dance journal, gifts and quite personalized. Um, get a nice like quote on the front, big thumbs up for a dancer. And again, these you can just buy in any bookstore, WH Smith's, stuff like that, Clinton cards. You can all appreciate that. I very much like the quote. Still staying on slightly the practical side of things, ballet tights, ballet tights are always ladder, so we always need more ballet tights. Again, very boring, but it's also essential. A water bottle, I know again, this seems a bit boring. We always use water bottles in training. I always have my water when I'm at the studio. I know that some dancewear brands also sell water bottles, so maybe that would be even nicer. You might get like a dancer on a water bottle and that would be like more personalized. You think a water bottle with a dancer on could be a really cool idea. I don't know where we're at. I've lost track. I knew I would, so we're just going to keep going. Another idea that I thought of is like a scrunchie or a bun wrap. An inexpensive but really sweet and thoughtful gift. I'm going to get a bun wrap. I I recommend to get it no other place than Pippa's bun wraps. She hand makes all the bun wraps and they're absolutely beautiful, some beautiful colours. So I will link her in the description. Christmas scrunchie on right now, which is which is cute. I think we just got that from like Primark or something. I 
I think I'm almost at the end of my practical side of things. Most of them are practical, but to be, I'm quite a practical person. Another gift idea, bath salts. Uh, as dancers, I take quite a few baths because the muscles like need to relax. Bath salts that are made to help the muscles relax are a really good option because it's so good for a dancer's recovery. Also come in these really cute little gift boxes as well. This is a more personalized gift. If you're struggling to find the pennies to buy gifts, which I sometimes do myself. I like to be creative with my gifts, so one birthday, I mean it's not Christmas but you can make it Christmassy, decorated a point, one of my old point shoes for my mum. So if you're a dancer and you have like an old point shoe, you can actually decorate it and I gave it as a gift and she really loved it. So I think this is another kind of cool quirky idea that you could do. Wrote some stuff on it, decorated it and gave it to her in this package. Want something a bit more personalised, a bit more with your own creative touch. This is a really great fun idea that you could do and if you've already got those point shoes that are dead and unusable anyway Then this is a really good way to use them in a fun way and it doesn't cost you anything for the present So it can sometimes actually mean more for the person if you do something like this a Slightly more expensive present I would say are these shoes. They have like an arch in them. These are from Block I think I bought my mum bought them for me for one birthday second hand, but they're so good especially if you do teaching uh, dance or ballet they give you support for your feet when I don't wear them that often because I don't teach that often but when I do teach these are so good so definitely recommend these you can also get the little booties which are like what you can put your feet in I sometimes use them at photo shoots I'll insert a photo They're really good for like going between classes slightly more expensive but another gift idea if you're willing to go that extra mile probably the most peculiar gift I have received so far I wanted to put it in this video because I thought it was so funny and just hilarious. A sloth stress ball. Dancers get stressed, so why not give them a, a sloth stress ball? Need I, need I say any more? Another cool Christmas idea, I know most dancers love their warm ups, so uh, leg warmers or any type of like shorts or something that might keep a dancer warm is never a bad idea. You know, if you wanna just buy something small but memorable, dancer Christmas decorations, it will always remind them of you. Another good option is makeup. Dancers always need stage makeup. Uh, this Urban Decay palette was my first ever palette that I actually ever bought. Although it's nice and I've used it so much, I don't recommend buying the super high-end brands because they cost so much. And to be honest, I bought these five, six palettes for less than I bought this one palette for. These five palettes here from Revolution, just as good if not better. Depends on the person, but I definitely think that you don't need to buy a super high-end makeup to have super cool look. Now for kind of the more straightforward, obvious ones is leotards. Again, slightly more expensive, but for a dancer, I think any dancer would appreciate getting a new leotard. A few dancewear brands that I would definitely recommend are Basilica Dancewear, they actually have this new Christmas Noel leotard that you can buy so just head over to their Instagram Basilica Dancewear, I will link them in the description. Definitely one to put on the Christmas list. And Ilo gear, great uh, quality stuff and it's so original which I really like. I recently just got this new uh, cat suit actually which is super original and super nice. It's you know red, very Christmassy colour. If you guys want to check them out as well I'll also link them in the description. And ballet skirts is also never a bad idea for a dancer. Here I have a ballet skirt by Lucinda. I find their skirts so flatter the leg line. So definitely one to look out for, ballet skirts by Lucinda. So get lovely skirts from Basilica, Ilo Gear and also Frida Silk. So here I have my Ilo Gear skirt which is super nice, look at that lovely fabric. And the Frida Silk skirt there. Another kind of super obvious one, uh, but maybe not so obvious at the same time, point shoes. Now I would never recommend buying point shoes for someone because every dance has a specific size and fit and length that they use for their feet. But point shoes are so expensive and all dancers need, well all ballet dancers need point shoes. Giving them some money to put towards point shoes is actually very very helpful. Uh, buying point shoes is so so expensive and I know a lot of parents who what they get their kids for Christmas is like five 
new pairs of point shoes. Uh, if you put it in like a card and say money towards your next set of point shoes, I bet they will appreciate it. Another super special, now this is a super special gift idea that I definitely recommend is a photo shoot. Now having a portfolio as a dancer, as you know, is super important these days, especially with the rise of social media. I think getting those portfolio shots right with a great photographer in a great setting is the most important thing because you can take photos but it it makes a difference when they're professional. A photographer that I completely trust and think is absolutely amazing at what he does is, is JR Photography. I am actually ambassador for him. I definitely think that a shoot with John would be one of the best Christmas presents you could ever ever give a dancer so I will definitely link his website in the description. If you use the promo code HANNAH10 you can actually get 10% off your shoots. I can promise you, you won't regret it. It is an amazing experience for one. It will, it will grow your portfolio. Definitely one of the best Christmas presents you could receive. A little cop-out gift present idea that I had was you could just get a block voucher I know it's a bit of a cop out, but if you have literally no idea what to get them, I mean, I did mention maybe like 20 other ideas in this video, but if you're still stuck, get them a block fit gift voucher or a dance here gift voucher, I'm sure that won't go amiss with the dancer. And finally, in my opinion, greatest gift you could ever give a dancer. It's my merch. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. And I maybe, just maybe might be doing a giveaway very soon. A Christmas giveaway, so stay tuned. Guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that it gave you some ideas for some of your dancer friends. Uh, let me know what your favorite Christmas idea was. I hope that you are gonna have an amazing Christmas. I will see you very soon. I've got lots of video ideas planned. I just gotta get time to film them. But hopefully over the Christmas season, I might have a bit of time off so I'll be able to film a bit more and upload a bit more often. So stay tuned for that. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We've grown so quickly, so strong, and I love every single one of you. So thank you so much. Your support is the biggest Christmas present you could ever give me. So thank you. Remember, dream big and make it happen.